have joined us here for our continuing coverage of the Origins Summer Preview uh, here at the Origins Game Fair in Columbus, Ohio. You're watching the Dice Tower. This is, my name is Sam, and this is James Campbell. He is from Gutshot Games, and he's going to be taking us through uh, Headhunters. So uh, go ahead and take it away, James. What is this all about? So Headhunters is a five and a quarter inch figure, okay. but inside is everything you need to play a car-driven skirmish game. Um, next to, um, I bring my toy to the table, you bring your toy. We okay. take all the components out and we fight to the death. Uh, I'm going to go right. over the components a little bit. It's a measure movement game, so the first thing you're going to see, there's a measuring string. Okay. This is broken in a short, medium, long range. All right. Two combat dice. It's card driven, but the uh, the combat's actually resolved via the dice. All right. We'll talk about that in a second. Cool. Two battle platforms. It's an open table game, so you're either on terrain, and we'll, which we'll talk about in a second, or you're actually on one of the battle platforms. Okay. Last thing, uh, two other things, cards. Okay. So every character has the same amount of health. This is Badru. He has five health. Okay. This is going to tell you how much health he has, how far he can move, and any special abilities you may have. Okay. So as he gains and loses health, he's going to gain and lose certain abilities. Okay. So when Badru here gets down to three, he can't move as far. So let's talk about movement real quick. When that shows three, you look at your measuring string, one, two, three. You can move that far. Okay. Now when he's down to three, he's only going to be able to move two, so one, two. But now he can actually make range attacks as if they were melee attacks. Okay. So any melee attacks, uh, uh, range attacks he has in his, his deck, he can actually use them as range attacks. Okay. Now, the important thing for every character, completely different. So think about you get a collectible figure and a theme deck, whichever character. Okay. So Zeno, our assassin robot from the future here, he's going to play completely different from uh, Badru, our Egyptian warrior. Okay. Um, and same thing with Eric Thanison, our Viking from the old world. Eric the Awful. Yep. Now, Head in Headhunter stands for Heroes, heroes of Every Age and Dimension. That's okay. why you have assassin robots oh, from gotcha. the future, All Egyptian right. warriors, etc. So I'm going to put him to the side right now. So um, it's a pan-chronistic, pan I don't know if that's our correct word. It's kind of like, we call it smash up. Uh, that you. sounds a lot <laughs> fancier. Okay. Um, so we have our health tile. The every, everything, uh, the other thing that all the characters come with are four starting terrain. Now I kind of cheated a little bit and put um, the four starting terrain out. But how we start the game is I take my four starting terrain and your four starting terrain. We mix them up. We randomly place them face down on the battlefield and we turn them over. Okay. That sets up our battlefield. Right. Now it could mean we stop start on opposite sides of the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Could mean we start right next to each other. Okay. Now you're going to notice there's one ba um, terrain that's actually unique per character. That has a diamond. It also okay. has a special ability just for that character. All right. Terrain has blocking signs, open sides. You can go in and out of, you can attack in and out of. You can't move in and out of or attack in and out of the blocking sides. Okay. So this one's kind of unique. When Badru here enters this, he actually gets to rotate it any way he wants to. Good way <laughs> of getting away from opponents, good yeah. way of um, getting the jump on somebody else. Right. Position is very important in the game, and we're going to talk about why that is in just a moment. Okay. Um, but the other type of terrain that Badru has here is this is an oasis. Anybody can use this. This is a special one just for Badru. Mm -hmm. Anyone can use this. If it's Badru or anybody else, when they um, come to this, ta when they come onto the oasis here, they roll a die. And as long as they, that was horrible, so I'm going to cheat. Um, <laughs> as long as they roll at least one starburst, they get the special ability. The special ability here is they heal one. Okay. So if they don't, it was a mirage and it gets taken from the game. Uh -huh. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. This goes the away. The terrain goes <laughs> away. You also notice all, right. all terrain has a shield number in it. You can attack and blow up terrain just as you can attack and blow up another character. As long as you um, have more power in your attack than that has defense, you can actually remove, remove it from the game. From the game. Okay. That's so cool. that said, let's kind of go over a little bit of the basics of the game. All right. On your turn, you have you get to do one basic move. It goes back to you look at your health. Yep. And that tells you how far you can move. That's okay. a basic move. There's All other right. ways to move, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but you also get to play up to two cards. Take two actions. There's some other things you can do besides play um, cards with actions, but we won't get into that here. Um, yeah. But there are weapons you can play with. Okay. So all kinds of different cards that you're going to have in your hand. You're going to have attacks. You're going to have defenses. Um, you're going to have special abilities, even move cards, so you can move in addition to um, to the typical okay. move you would and have. And that's in these this deck right yep. here. So I'm going to go through just the easiest way for me to explain it is just through a quick hand. Now I'm going to drop to my hand size, which is a default of three. 
I'm gonna hold these private here. Um, first gonna make a basic move because I need to get in distance here of Eric because I wanna okay. take him out. So again, I put this where I wanna go. As long as I can make it, and we're pretty liberal about where you can make it, straight line. Okay. As long as you can get there, you simply move your character. Your back's gonna be facing one side. Position in the game is really important. I'll tell you why. Okay. So now I'm gonna play a card. The first card I'm gonna play here is this is a attack, it's a range attack, okay. okay? Has a special ability, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. So now that I played this card, I'm lining up you, because we're gonna fight. Okay. So I roll my dice, I'm looking for swords, you go ahead and roll. Oh, there's yours, go oh, ahead. Oh, you got mine, I'm sorry. That's go all right, ahead. I don't I remember what I had. I had like one, it wasn't good, but go ahead, now you roll. You're looking for shields. Now, ties go to the Thunder, but we're gonna cheat a little bit to pretend yeah, that sure, it looks sure, like sure. I beat you. Um, if we were, if neither one of us had advantage, I would simply have more swords than you have shield. Now, how, no, how, no matter how much I beat you by, you lose one health. Okay. However, you'll notice and that's just a card. That's just one card, and you right. put it on the bottom. Gotcha. However, you'll notice there's a third symbol, and that is advantage. Okay. If I happen to be lucky enough to get behind you when I attack, I get to count those as swords. Okay. So that would have been three. However, okay. I was. And that's the burst symbol. That's right? the burst symbol. Yeah. Okay. However, I wasn't. You actually had advantage because you were on a terrain versus a range attack. Gotcha. So you actually rolled the best you can. That's four defense. Four defense. Okay, okay. Cool. So I missed, but I knew I didn't have good opportunity when I was doing that. The next piece of this card it says, after a combat, I can actually teleport, swap us places. <laughs> so now that we have that, you come here facing this way, okay. I come here facing this way. All now right. all of a sudden I have advantage because I'm in uh, I'm in terrain and you're not, you're out in the open. Got it. So now I'm gonna play another range attack. Okay. Now this range attack, the first thing it allows me to do is it's gonna make you discard whatever cards you have in your hand. Okay. okay? Uh, but then we go and we attack again. This would be my second action. I only have one, that was a horrible roll though. Can you block it? You need at least one shield. You're out in the open, Got you it. did, okay. Now, uh, mitigating uh, the luckiness of the dice is really important with uh, with advantage. Okay. If I was behind you, that would have been a huge hit. Right. Being behind someone increases your advantage by over 30%. Okay. So, now it would go on to you. You would actually do something similar. Okay. So, I actually set up your cards here. Oh, oh, at the end of my turn, by the way, I can decide to keep this or I can actually discard it and um, draw up to three cards. Draw up to three, okay. Other kind of cards, what I just discarded here is this is a defense. So I didn't talk about this, but the game's actually designed by Ben Tchaikovsky and Danny Mandel. They did Legendary Encounters Aliens, okay, Legendary cool. Encounters Predators, also the World of Warcraft trading card game. Right. So one thing you may remember from way back from the World of Warcraft trading card game is traps. So okay. traps were kind of cards you played face down. Gotcha. This is a defense card. I can, as one of my turns, I could or cards I could play, I would play this face down. Mm -hmm. When you come to attack me, I'm going to say, aha, uh -huh, this is going to have an outcome of that gotcha. attack. Now I didn't have an extra attack, so that goes there. All right. Now it's your turn. My turn, so yeah. I can move and attack. You can move, attack, attack, move. attack move any order. Okay. Now I, I've kind of given you a little bit of an advantage here, so go ahead and play this card first. Okay, I'm gonna play Ride the Bifrost. <laughs> By, Ride the Bifrost allows you to teleport next to any terrain. Okay. I told you position's really important, so, and if you look at this, your back's open right here. There. So you're gonna put your platform here. That's Everybody correct. gets two platforms, and you're gonna go ahead and go here, right to my back. Yes. Now, that was one of your cards. Now you may have a melee attack there. I do. So this goes your discard. Now. Lucky <laughs> luck of the draw. <laughs> this All is right, not set so up. Yeah. It now. says, uh, well, first I roll, right? First you roll. And I'm, you I'm have counting advantage. starbursts and You're, swords. You get swords and starbursts. Absolutely. I'm probably going to roll horribly. Two. I did. Two is not bad. Oh, all right, we're gonna let you cheat. Now, if that would have landed. I um, like this game. If that would have landed, you would have taken one of my cards, put it in your hand, and you could play that card okay. as well. So, a lot of the flavor comes in the cards itself. Yeah. As I said, um, every character is unique, every character is different. When you're done with the game, so the game takes about 10 minutes per player, mm -hmm. so 20 minutes for two player, 40 minutes for 30 to 40 minutes for four player. When you're done, you pick all this stuff up, it goes back inside the toy's head, and that's what sits on your game shelf. Okay, so these are sold separately then? They're sold separately. They're okay. $20 each. All right. Um, we're going to, we attempted to launch a Kickstarter with all 10, but our funding goal for that was pretty high. Gotcha. So we're launching, this fall, we're launching Headhunters Gods. Okay. So there will be some gods you, you recognize. There's a couple things we learned. One, 
People thought the toy art was a little too cutesy. I okay. like it personally, but yeah. they thought it, it didn't match the depth of the game. So we're going to increase the toy art a little bit, okay. and we're going to come out with characters people know. All right. Uh, um, so you may see him again as Anubis. Okay. So in the in the God series, we'll also have Thor. Thor. We'll have a Thor, and we'll also have Athena, and then one other one uh, from Chinese mythology, which we'll announce later. So, um, and then that will be this fall, and then next spring we will have a fairy tale line. Where we'll, you'll see okay. a really cool Snow White, who actually will bring units via dwarves, who actually can move <laughs> on their uh, on her behalf, move around and attack. All right. Um, and as well as a big bad wolf and some others. That's cool. Yeah. I like the packaging idea. That's, Thank you. That's interesting. Uh, this is a neat little movement game. I'd like to try this out more. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much, James, Thank you. for joining Appreciate us. It. We're going to send James over to the Q&A table here in just a few moments. So stay tuned. All right. One thing there which will go. be an exclusive for the live stream here, I forgot all of them come with their own weapons. Oh, cool. So Rob actually was kind enough to paint this one for us, but uh, all of them will come with their own weapons. Will they come with a weapon that is unpainted then? Uh, no, it will come with a weapon. Come with yeah, painted this weapon. is all this stuff is just prototype. Okay. So this is like this is cheaper APS, ABS that you can print plastic on. The real thing will be vinyl, heavyweight vinyl, so it has a good feel to it. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, cool. Okay, um, well, one of the questions I had for you, James, was if they uh, had articulation in the arms or legs. It looks like they the arms do, do arms right? do, no legs, um, and the only thing the head does is take the cap off. Right, you can store everything yeah. in there, okay. But the arms move up and down, and the reason they do that is because you can have a weapon, then you can move them around. And there is deck building um, with the characters, so if you want to use his weapon cards, you have to take his weapon too. So if you see a Viking show up to a game and he's carrying a plaster, you're going to have some indication on what um, he's bringing to the table. Interesting. So yeah. it's a little bit of a hint to the other player, yeah. hey, this is coming and really, in here. Game He's probably not a big thing, but from a theme, we kind of like it. Yeah, yeah, that's neat. Now, you were talking about that there were uh, 10 figures you attempted to, to kickstart yeah, that, right? Yep. Yeah. We did an early Kickstarter rerun for about 10 days, and it didn't look like we were going to launch all 10. And okay. so what we decided to do was we're going to do three waves of four okay. um, starting this um, and do them in themes. So we'll do the God theme this fall. We'll do the fairy tale theme um, early next year. Um, so over the next 12 to 18 months, we'll have three waves. And then the third wave, we're still debating on what that wave is. And you are... It will be these powers, these cards, just themed Correct. to a different um, mythology. Yeah, and so we have several characters. The platform really support. And ben and Danny did a great job. They've they've done not only the World of Warcraft um, trading card game, they've done the new versus two player card game. Yeah. So they've done a really good job of building the platform for it. So we can easily add characters. Um, we just have to have the time to balance the decks to make sure one the theme matches the character who it is, right. and then the cards. Um, um, you know the the they balance between uh, well between characters. Okay, sounds good. Um, you talked about the expansion plans. Good. Mm -hmm. We talked about that. We talked about that. MSRP. You mentioned up there twenty. Twenty bucks each. each. Mm -hmm. Okay. The uh, someone was asking about sorting them back into their uh, their respective yep. uh, figures. Do they Great have different question. card backs or something like that? Um, actually, no. We, can I set this? Yeah, yeah. I'll hold it for you here. Um, Every card, that's a great question. Every card tells you who it belongs to up here, Got so it. you can do that. And how the deck building works real quick is if you'll notice, um, this is a weapon um, deck. This tells you how many copies of the card. So there's three copies of this card in this deck. So think of the weapon, there's six groups of six cards. Okay. Now if you want to use his weapons, so there's three which are kind of, think of them as common, okay. two which are uncommon, and then one kind of rare. But if you want to use that whole group of six, you have to take that whole pod and exchange it for somebody else's weapon pod. Right. So, so it's, we wanted set. an approachable um, deck building. Yeah. 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 We didn't want somebody showing up with just all the most powerful cards or rare cards. Okay, got yeah. it. But, there will, but if you do build your own deck, there is no indication of what the card is coming from to the opponent. The, the only thing, match, the only the match, correct. Yeah. The only hint that you give is the weapon that you carry. If you're using somebody else's weapon deck. Okay, sounds good. Um, let's see if I have anything else for you here. Uh, when people pledge, do they get the idea? Is it the idea to get individual figures if you want, or you can get all four? Yeah, in a so wave? that was that was a good feedback. We had um, originally we did a two. Um, 
a two character starter kit and every one of the biggest questions I was asked was well I want to swap out those two characters and do different characters okay. so we're actually going to do all four individuals so they can mix and max however they want okay. um, and if they do four, all four we're going to have a little bit of a, a special like gift for them if they do that okay yeah what would you say is the uh, suggested age range on these? Then? Um, you know, I I, w I compare this to like Arena the Planeswalker in terms of the amount of depth. Okay. That says 10 plus. I think that's about right. It'll say 13 plus on the on the piece, but it's 10 plus and you're safe. Okay. Okay. I have 11 year old good. twins and they oh, play okay. all the time. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think that's it. I think that's all I've got for you. Thanks for giving us a little bit more of a, of a look at these and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, check these out coming to Kickstarter. This uh, October. Headhunters Gods will launch at Kickstarter this fall, October or first week in November. Okay, excellent. Thanks very Thanks. much. Good talking to you. Thank you. James, thank you.